Okay. Recording, producer, <laughs> editor, whatever. We're starting our radio station for Ponty Pool. Ponty Pool. <laughs> That's the name of the movie. Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, the name of the movie that we're reviewing is called Ponty Pool. Pool. And we found it randomly on Netflix. On Netflix. Netflix has the best random movies that you will never hear how about. Do, how do, are we in the same spot? Yeah. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know any different. So our movie. I don't know any different. So this movie. Um, is the audience talking over there? Tell oh, them yeah. to shut the fuck Shh. up. Audience, we have an audience. Okay, you'll, we have an audience them. tonight. But we have some You're special guests. Special we guests? have special guests tonight, but you will meet them after. You'll meet them after if we let them. Only if they behave. All right. So the movie's called P Ponty Pool. Mm -hmm. What's the set? What's the plot? A church. They're in a church. No, this guy. <laughs> It's a radio. It's he's supposed to be Imus kind of. He's like kind of fucking cheesy kind of. Like he's supposed to be this miserable shock jock, but he's really just he tries to be a douche in the beginning. He's really wrinkly. <laughs> That's not the part of the story. Just cuz he's wrinkly cuz he's old. Some chicks dig wrinkles. This old man, he's driving to work, which is in a church, but then this lady knocks on the window. Bop, bop, bop. Oh yeah, he's this shock jock. He's a sh he's described as a shock jock. What's his name? Mazzy. Grant Mazzy. Grant Mazzy. And he's driving to work. He's He works at a radio station really early in the morning because it's dark still on his way to work. Right. And this lady, she goes, bum, 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 on his window and starts going, rrr, rrr, rrr. Who are you? So basically he goes to work and he's like, holy fuck, I just had this crazy thing happen on the way to work. Like, when do you think it's a good idea to call 911? And then the dude calls and says 912. We should have a 912. And there's three people. There's three characters in Oh, this yeah, movie. there's three characters. Wait, there's, there's, there's the there's producer. The, the guy, the shock jock, which is Mazzy. He's the guy on the Grant. radio. And then Laurel Ann. Laurel Ann. And then. S and Sydney. Sydney. Laurel Ann is like a technician person. Briar. She just chills there and. She the just got back from Afghanistan. Right, and the producer She was the hero of the week in their little town. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little town. It's a really small town. I need a lighter. So. We don't have a laugh track in this video. Okay, right. so. There's three people. There's on. three main characters. Laurel Ann, Sydney, Sydney, and Grant. Grant. And they work at a radio station. and In a church. Mm, in a church. In a church. In the basement of a church. In the basement. A dungeon. Basement. So the movie starts out and he's kind of a douchebag and he's purposely being a douchebag. Yeah, and then they start. There's a missing cat throughout the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, the missing cat. Wait, it never happened. It never. It never it manifests. Never, it never. Don't even worry about the cat because there's nothing gonna happen. Yeah, the fuck cat. the cat. The very beginning, he he quotes um, uh, a bunch of English words and how they French, all throw. French. They're all play with French. French philosophers. And how it means something about a kiddie pool and then the cat. And the well, he the goes pool. into the meaning of the town. The last virus database has been updated. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so, so, um, so, so anyway, so he, the, the shock jock is like the main character, he's kind of a douchebag, he comes in, and suddenly something's going on in the town, a ponty pool, what's the audience, can we get a clap and a woo? Yay! Woo! <laughs> anyway, so then all of a sudden they get this breaking news thing that something's going on in ponty pool at a doctor's office. Hold on a minute. <laughs> That's not cool! That, you can't do that shit on camera. You can't do that. You can't do that during our movie review. It's just a plant. It's just a plant. <laughs> it's just a penis. It's just a penis and it's just, just rape. It's just chlamydia. <laughs> it's just a zombie apocalypse. Oh, we're getting so sidetracked. This is gonna be another Max and Mary Molly. So basically, something happens at this doctor's office. There's an old lady. Doctor. Doctor's office. It, it all starts at Doctor Mendez's office, where all the people gather. We don't see this the whole time. The whole movie is in the church. The radio. They're, station. they're only hearing it from the radio. No, 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 no thanks. The so, audience is trying to hand me illegal substances that I cannot do on camera. He, cr Hitler, crawls through the window. Oh, you're fucking going like <laughs> an hour into the movie. Yeah. Getting calls from the weather guy, the from travel guy, the weather guy who's, who's not really who's in not a really helicopter. in a helicopter at all. He's in his Datsun. He's on a hill. But he's in his dots and he's on sound effects. On a hill with sound effects. Oh, I hate crawling. Why are you crawling? Why are you crawling? Oh, I fucking hate it. It's the closest no. thing to midgets. I don't like midgets. <laughs> so, 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 they get a report about this thing going on in this office. And they're like, what the fuck's going on? We don't know what's going on. And they've got these Arabs. This is our favorite part of the movie. 
and then they're like, Lawrence and the Arabians. We don't have to sing to the radio station. Right. They're like, we don't have any evidence, so let's go to Lawrence and the Arabians. Woo! So Lawrence and the Arabians come on, and they sing, If you fall if you off fall your camel, camel and you cannot can hear. hear. Oh, you guys wear underwear? Oh my god. So, so basically. this was an underwear optional broadcast. So they sing their cool song, and they're all wearing blackface, which is really fucked up. Brown see... face. But honestly, <laughs> I don't think it's too bad, because, I mean, we see brown face every day. God. Would you stop, critic? Who the fuck are you? Well, they start getting reports about how you shouldn't use terms of endearment. You can't use terms of endearment, and you can't <laughs> use the English language. But, right. And they're in Canada. They're in Canada. Did we say they're so, in Canada? So they learned to speak French, eventually. I think they already knew it. So, basically, um, they, 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 the story develops and they find out there's zombies outside. And then, it's weird, but they go to the doors of the church, the radio station's in, and all of a sudden, all the zombie people are repeating what repeating they just what said. Oh no, I need to go back inside. And they're all like, oh no, I gotta go back inside. Oh no, I gotta go back inside. Then they go back inside. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> oh oh shh. shh. We don't speak illegal talk. This is not an illegal talk show. <laughs> Broadcast <laughs> news report. We have school bus... Things to tell you. We gotta tell you if it's a snow day. Or... School closing. <laughs> it was February because he had a Valentine's Day card. It was. It was actually on Valentine's Day. It was seasonal. Happy February Valentine's Day. Day to you guys. <laughs> Valentine's <laughs> Day is a commercial Raw. holiday made up. Here's our special for... guest, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's it's made up to make people miserable and unhappy. Only if you are miserable. If honey. you don't get enough flowers happy. and candy. <laughs> we got a call. In. We got a call. Oh no. <laughs> What's that? You're speaking some English language in terms of endearment on Valentine's Day? It's for you. You're gonna be a zombie soon. This doctor, Dr. Mendez, where it all started, climbs in. Through the window. <laughs> she came in through the bathroom key. window. Matt was a narcissist. <laughs> this is not supposed to be R-rated. I guess it already is. So basically, so then these zombies come to the door, they all go in. And then the cool, cool girl that we like, the military girl, she oh, no. No. fucking gets sick. Uh, and she's banging against the camera. No, but was not she, the camera, the not wall. the camera, the wall. The wall. They, no, well, the doctor comes in and he's like, come on, let's go hide in the soundboard room. Right. And it's all soundproof. And she starts banging against it, bleeding, and he's like, this is so interesting. <laughs> this is so interesting. They're coming. And then zombies start coming, and they're all like, well, nobody really cares about what's going on, but they're like, this is so very interesting and scientific. No, the doctor was. Just him. Yeah. The fucking D... So it's the DJ, well, Sydney, the producer, the producer and the doctor. They all went a little bit crazy. The doctor. They all go in the soundproof room, and the military girl is flipping the fuck out because she gets the virus, the zombie virus, and we don't find out for a little while how she does, but then we find out it's all through words. It's all through the English it's all language. The English language, and it's yeah. all happening as they're talking on radio. We should probably not be talking about this on radio. No, it's not but a let's good just idea. Keep talking. But, let's, but let's keep talking. <laughs> That's a great broadcast. Let's so then they decide to loop him saying something because they think that might draw. Because all the zombies come rushing into the church because they keep talking. <laughs> so they make this loop of him saying, "Sydney, what was her is last alive. name? Is alive. What was her last name? Barrier or something?" Sydney Barry. Terrible. Mm -hmm. So. so cute. Oh, Jesus. Dylan, so. We grab me another beer. <laughs> oh my and, god! Uh, <laughs> okay. So, so anyway. Really hard to do it to get their money with this one. <laughs> so. So people are zombies and they're walking into the fucking broadcast, whatever. <laughs> in the church dungeon. Yes. And so they get rid of the zombies by the thing we said. And then the doctor gets sick, right? The doctor gets sick. Yeah. <laughs> the doctor gets sick. Oh, this is not going well. The doctor is getting sick. And then, 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 they what? realize... Oh, then they kiss. No. They realize be they kiss because they realize that kill... Okay, the producer, the girl, is getting, like, fucked up and whatever, and he's like... No, stop thinking of English language. You gotta start. They figure out it's the English you, language. Yeah, but they're like, you have to realize now that you can't speak. You can't make. So sense. they start writing. You can't no, make no, sense. No. You can't make any sense. Oh, here comes our drinking game. Okay, okay. Sydney gets sick. This is sick. Dylan, by the oh way. Oh my God. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Sydney gets sick, so he talks her out of it. She gets starts talking he's like because like, when they get he's sick, like, kill they, does not mean kill. Kill means kiss. Good things, positive. He's like, it means happy. So she starts going kill, 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 and he's like, like no, kill means kiss, kiss, kill means kiss. 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 And, and she kiss. snaps out of it, and then they make out, and, and he's and everyone's like, oh, he's all wrinkled. And no, me. I'm so drunk. This is how my last relationship ended. You're gonna eat me now, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Oh, I thought she asked him to eat her. Cause she thought he was fucked up, but I think she was more fucked up by this point. Drinking. The last people on earth, you're gonna fucking start eating. A go out with a bang. I mean, no eating, <laughs> a fucking each other, <laughs> fucking whatever. A fucking whatever. everyone had like 20 minutes eat to people, live, whatever. and there was yeah, whatever. Although he was kind of icky, but he was too old for me. I like him young. Fucked up. Box means. Box. Box means. Blowjob. Blowjob <laughs> means oh beer. Oh wait, beer is connected to a blowjob, so. It is. How? I mean, I guess. Right, so, so wait. So they Whoa. they kiss. They make out. <laughs> they make out. They make out. They make out. They make out. <laughs> they make out and and then they realize <laughs> they know how to save everybody. So we gotta we gotta tell them the, the drinking game. Okay. So, this is our drinking game. Because in the movie, they're like, box, robo. They just, and he's like, he on. says money, she says yesterday. Yeah, he yeah. says a bunch of stuff. And they're, and they're like, this doesn't make sense anymore in the English language. Oh, by the way, they are speaking French the whole time, and they don't understand French. I guess the zombies only understand well, English. Well, yeah, they only know English. English sucks. Because we're evil. Spoiler alert. So, at the end of the movie, this whole thing what happens is a spoiler. at the end? At the end. It kind of ends. Oh, ev okay, no, 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 no. Oh, the military comes okay, wait, in and wait, wait, starts wait, wait, killing no, no, no. everyone. Everyone, as they're on the radio playing this game, oh my god, these people are making up this stupid game. They must be crazy. Stop killing everyone. These people are fucking crazy. Sydney, are you alive? This the Whoever's talking on the intercom right now is fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's not politically correct. I meant ugly. Yeah, we don't use that word. I meant we Jewish. <laughs> Canadian. I meant Canadian. Oh, They're Matt. all Canadian. Oh, man. Um, At the end... The two of them are like, oh, fuck, we're fucked. And then they just and make out. And then and they start talking on the intercom. On the intercom, they're this like, is a reenactment ten, of the professor's nine, mustache, too. Eight, <laughs> seven, <gasps> six, put stuff on my five, face? four, four three, right two. Here. And they kiss, and they exploded, and it was over. And that's how it ends. Just Sounds like, like a pretty good so, movie. So we're going to have a drinking game. This We created a drinking game we based on this, this movie. It's this called the Ponty Pool Drinking Game. We created our own drinking game. And it's called... You can play along at home. You have to unrelate your words... They can't be related in less than two, two separations. They can't be related. Shane, you need to get in here on this. Oh, yeah, because he played You're, too. You played this game. You thought of this game, too. So and I'm going to start with beer. Uh, foot. Go ahead. Hammock. Good. Um, camera. Thanks for the support there. Good. Wave. What support? I didn't support. that. What? What? Wait, what support? No, because you're like, good. Oh, because it's a good trampoline. Um, ashtray. I think we should put. We, it, we say need ums. to explain it. I think if you throw Did it I in, say um, um, you should have to drink. Holy fuck! Pickle. So this drink game is brought to you by this movie. Wait, do we give a thumbs up or a thumbs down? This movie? Oh, it's so hard because like for the creativity of the drinking game, I'd give it a thumbs up. The but thumbs for the up for the drink of the movie, I'd give it a double thumbs really? up. Really? I kind of give it a thumbs up if you want something Although really I, fucking I weird. Was, I thought it was interesting. Yeah. Every horror movie that I watch, you need to have... I always think, how are you going to keep these group of people in this certain setting, plot, whatever, fucking, without dying within an hour and a half to two hours? And they did a good job. And they stayed and it was a weird in that church the whole movie. Right. I've never seen a zombie movie where the zombies were zombies because of words hearing it came to th hearing right. the word was kill and no it was anything it was any like it was just english language in terms of endearment excuse you well, <laughs> <laughs> was, i don't know if it that wasn't a term of endearment it was an act of endearment oh you just tell me to eat you <laughs> <laughs> i want that i'm one of those little hearts i would suggest to watch it i would suggest to be drinking and by the way, folks, this week's sponsor is Bud Light Lime. <laughs> she yeah, blood she all over my Aww. bottles, and I had to rinse them off. To wrap it up, I personally, you you can vote if you want. Dylan, Dylan you can't because you didn't see the movie. Oh, so I'm going to give it a thumbs up for entertainment purposes and for the it fact the writing was good. It was a new it? form of zombie movie. You give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, that's good. It doesn't matter. 
because we say watch it. I bet you have never heard of Ponty Pool. Ponty Pool. The, na the name of the movie is Ponty Pool. Uh, we would suggest watching it because it's different. It's a little funny, and you're gonna find that couple quotes funny. Like I can't tell if it's a mob or a parade. First thing the call they got in, they're like, "Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. It's either a mob or a parade." Like what the fuck? <laughs> How can you not tell the difference between a mob and a parade? Was there Shriners? No. Then uh, it was there are zombies. A it was like the beginning of a zombie movie. It was like the first few hours when you're like trying to figure everything out on the radio and like right. broadcast. And uh, the guy that tried to be Amos was Amos. Amos was a dick, but he was cool in the end because he tried to save everybody. The German Hitler? No, oh, I'm or the Muzzy Grant. Grant Muzzy. This is the end of our review. We say, watch it. Watch it. Thumbs up. Good night. Good night.